Our question of the day for yesterday, January 3rd, was which of the following has a bond order of 2? If you remember, bond order indicates whether it's a single, double, or triple bond. So a bond order of 1 would be a single bond. Bond order of 2, double. And bond order of 3, triple. So what they're asking us is, which of the following has a double bond? And they give us diatomic elements. Well, we can eliminate two answers immediately because only certain atoms form diatomic elements, and those are the Brinkelhoffs. Bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. So that immediately eliminates lithium and boron. So they're asking which of these three, nitrogen, oxygen, or fluorine, has a double bond. And I actually have a simple system for figuring out whether they have a double bond or not without actually drawing the Lewis dot structures, though drawing the Lewis dot structures is the ideal way to solve this problem. This is my trick. I take the number of hydrogen atoms times 2 plus the number of non-hydrogen atoms times 8. So we've got that and that. I subtract from it the total number of valence electrons present. And then I divide by 2, and that will tell me the number of bonds in this, in this molecule. So let's try nitrogen. Nitrogen has no hydrogen atoms, so that would be 0 times 2, plus the total number of non-hydrogen atoms, which is 2, times 8, minus the number of valence electrons. Each nitrogen atom has five valence electrons, so that would be 10. And we divide that all by 2. Again, this is for nitrogen. And we get 16. This is 0, right? 16 minus 10 is 6. Divided by 2 is 3. So we know that nitrogen has a triple bond or a bond order of 3. Let's try oxygen. Total number of hydrogen atoms times 2. There are 0 hydrogen atoms. Plus the total number of this is actually O2, the total number of non-hydrogen atoms times 8, minus the number of valence electrons. Oxygen has 6 electrons each, so that would be 12. We divide that by 2. So that's 0 plus 16 minus 12 divided by 2. 16 minus 12 is 4, which is divided by 2, which is 2. So there is a double bond, so that has the bond of 2. That would be our answer. And of course, fluorine, we don't have to do anymore, but if we did this method, fluorine has zero hydrogen atoms, two non-hydrogen atoms, and each fluorine atom has seven valence electrons, so we subtract 14, we divide that by two, so 16 minus 14, excuse me, <clears throat> divided by two is two divided by two, which is only a single bond. You can do this with larger molecules too, but note that this method doesn't work with, um, a prox with um, excuse me, expanded valence electrons. So once you get to the third energy level, I would avoid this technique. But, but to quickly figure out who has <coughs> excuse me, triple or double bonds, you can figure this out. This will tell you the total number of bonds in the molecule. So if I had, let's say I had a bond order of three, but my molecule was O, 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 well, I, I, I know that my bond order would have to, one of these would have to be a single, one would have to be a double. And actually, um, ozone is a special case because it is a resonance structure, and that has a different bond order altogether, which we'll get in a subsequent lesson. So the correct answer would be D, oxygen has a bond order of two. Thank you, and tune in tomorrow for our next solution of the question of the day.